Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Dog. Welcome back to my channel. So we are here for another one of our mass making sessions and I am on, or we are on week 110, would you believe? So we're doing the reruns. Um, if you follow my channel, you'll know this. We're going back through from the beginning. So we are now, you know, week 10, basically rerunning week 10. Um, so we're going to be doing the envelope pockets. If you're joining along, what you're going to need is some envelopes. Now, you're going to need kind of taller envelopes. They don't have to be the exact same size as this, but they are going to have to be kind of taller um, because I don't think they're going to work with sort of shorter, stumpier envelopes, if if you see what I mean. I think the, you know, the pockets would be very strange shape then. Um, but yeah, I mean, have a play around. I haven't tried to do them with shorter, sort of stumpier envelopes. Um, and then you're going to need some papers, obviously, um, for decorating your envelope. So I've got a variety here of um, some of my inked papers that we've done recently. I've got um, sheet music. I've got some book page to the side of me. Um, and then I've got lots of printables. Some are scraps and some are sort of bigger, you know, full sheet pieces. You're going to need some glue. You might want to have like a glue spreader. Um, and you might want your bone folder. Again, you don't have to have your bone folder because we're only going to be using it to just kind of make the folds, basically. Um, I think that's kind of pretty much all you're going to need, unless you're wanting to obviously decorate them up, in which case, you know, of course, you're going to need some things to decorate. So if I just demonstrate one or two, and then we'll kind of go more assembly line style of how we're going to make them. So basically, take your envelope. Now, I find it best to glue the flap down first. <clears throat> like that and then you can oops I just realized I forgot to bring my dry wet wipes so um let me just grab some tissue I've got a whole bunch of tissue here beside me so right let's just put in some tissue um like that okay and then all you're going to be doing is folding over to make your pocket and completely up to you you can have a smaller pocket so then it's a taller uh, you know a smaller fold and it's a taller pocket or you can have it you know wherever you like it doesn't matter at all so that's all you're doing is folding that up there and then we can just squish that down Oops, like that and then all you're going to be doing is kind of covering basically both the sections with some paper. So I'm just going to bring in some papers. So I'm going to start with this paper here, which was the freebie that I've put on my Facebook group. And I think I uploaded the video for this on Saturday. Um, just because, you know, this is like a scrap that's left over from that. So I will just use this one and then up to you you can go right to the edge i quite like having the little border so just as my sort of measuring method i'm just going to fold this in there approximately and then i know roughly you know where i need to actually cut that so i'm just going to then cut that up there like that okay and then all I want to do is basically, you know, there's no need to cover the entire envelope. So I can just go in here, snip that off, or, you know, I can tear that off like that. So that's my inner piece. And then depending, <coughs> depending on how you would like it to look, you can either kind of marry them up with some matching paper i like the rest of the paper that you've been using or you could kind of you know mix and match so you could have like here some sheet music or something like that to finish your pocket so i think either is quite nice i might do this with some sheet music because actually when i just put that there i thought oh that looks really good so let's just go in with some glue here okay like that and then i'm just going to get my glue spreader Obviously, spread that glue out like that. Okay, just mop up the excess like that, and then you can obviously then fold your pocket like that, 
and pop that up there. Okay, and then <clears throat> for my piece that I'm going to be putting on the pocket, I'm just going to take my sheet music. I mean, as it happens, this is a, um, you know, a cover from some sheet music, but obviously I'm going to be using the music side, if you see what I mean. So I'm just going to take it down and I'll use this as my guide. So I'm just going to cut it across here. Just using it my, for my guide for the width, basically. And then I'll go in and, you know, cut it down, kind of make it shorter as needed. So pop that to one side and then I want to have this here like that and I think to about here like that okay and then I can just get rid of this piece okie dokie and then whoops pop this down here like that and then just you know squish out the excess glue <clears throat> like that. and that's all there is to it that's your pocket and then I would obviously glue these down maybe on three sides and you'd have a side loading pocket there so that's the first one now what we'll do we'll play around with these because I said that you know during these kind of reruns of the mass makes what's quite nice is we may um you know come up with some other things that we can do that maybe we didn't kind of do in the first one or the, yeah the first time around so let's take this pocket now again get our flap for the envelope just stuck down there okay <clears throat> like that okay and fold the flap up here like that Okay, and just squish that down. And then what you could do is you could like open the side up as a side pocket as well, or you could open the top up as a, you know, a top loading pocket as well. So for this one, let's just do like a side pocket. So what you could do is literally, now you're going to want to cut as close as you possibly can to the edge Oops. like that okay and I only go down basically to the fold if you see what I mean so then we'll take our paper so again sorry the first paper that I used it's the the new one that's available on my Facebook group um, as a freebie so yeah this this paper here freebie on the Facebook group so just in case you didn't see my video at the weekend so that's that one right okay let's use this paper now so this is in one of my new kits it's um, Kings Park and yeah I haven't done a sort of a I don't know official in detailed launch of this one yet um, but I will be doing soon because I actually thought this one works really nicely for autumn as well. So if I get time, I will try and do a launch of this one at the weekend where we'll look over the whole kit and see what you get and things. Um, I just, you know, I don't know whether I'm going to definitely have time to do that. But yeah, I would like to because actually it too is quite an autumnal themed kit. Um, obviously, I've just done the launch of my Fox and Friends kit, which is, you know, an autumn themed kit but this one although I didn't bring it out as an autumn kit it is also quite autumn colours wow how much rambling went on there honestly <laughs> talk about rambly right so let's cut this down here yeah and also I mean I really love this kit and I haven't haven't used it yet so I really would love to come on and have a, a play with it anyway right okay so let's take this one and glue this one down excuse the back of it obviously you know waste not want not when I'm kind of trying to you know create the kits obviously I print multiple times and um 
yeah, I obviously reused the paper so as not to waste it. So yeah, hence the back is always, um, or you know, quite often has different things on the back. So yeah, I do apologize, but hey, once it's glued down, nobody knows what's on the back of that paper. So it's all good. Right, there we go. So again, could have the other piece on there. Or again, we could go for, you know, contrasting, having like the sheet music. I mean, we could even maybe mix it up and have this. I mean, that's quite nice on there. The only thing is I'd feel like then I was very much tied into, you know, I have to use that, if you see what I mean. Um, or have to use it only on a sort of blue and um, blue and brown thing germinal sorry okay so let's just get that roughly roughly to size okay so go in there like that okay yeah I'll just trim that down on this edge there. Okay, and we would just glue this down here on these flaps, like that, either side. That one and that one. <clears throat> and then this here. Like that. And just pop that down there like that okay and again can just use the glue spreader get any excess glue out like that and so now obviously on this one what you've got is you've got your oops pocket here you've then got a side pocket here and then what you could do i personally wouldn't glue it in having the side pocket here if that makes sense I wouldn't glue it around these three sides because then you'd have like two pockets that are quite flimsy so what I would do is glue it down three sides here so you'd have this pocket and then you'd have this side as a pocket as well you know basically underneath if that makes sense so that's another option that you could use so I'll carry on kind of you know talking through what we're doing um but i probably should um you know stop talking through the basic process so turn it more assembly line style and then we'll just make adaptations as we go i think so we'll just kind of you know then we can relax a bit more kind of have a catch up um you know yeah kind of do our usual kind of just relaxing kind of method but i'll just mention odd changes that i might make so the first thing i'm going to do is just glue down you know maybe five or six of the envelopes and then we're doing kind of all the process you know in in batches so more you know assembly line style so get this all stuck down so how is everyone doing I hope that your week's all started out well I'm feeling kind of energized and whoa, slightly like that because today I'm filming this on the Monday um I always try and film these on the Monday unless you know I know that I, it's going to be tight to do it on the Monday. So I'm filming this on the Monday, obviously ready to go out on the Tuesday and yay, the schools have gone back. My middle son's still at home because he's got an inset day today actually, but my daughter has gone back to school today. So I can't tell you, I feel such relief. I know that just sounds awful thing to say. I don't mean I feel such relief that she's gone back. I feel such relief that I made it through the summer holidays because obviously, you know, and I'm not kind of, you know, fishing for sympathy or anything like that, you know, at all, because I love my life and I'm so privileged that, you know, I can work from home and I'm doing a job that I absolutely just adore so much. So please don't think I'm moaning in any way um, or kind of saying, oh, I, I have such a hard time or anything like that. I'm just so not saying that. But all I mean is, you know, I'm breathing a sigh of relief, kind of going, oh, thank goodness, you know, the house will be calm. I mean, obviously my son's still home today. So I've promised him I will just work through till kind of um, 12.30-ish. 
And then I will spend the afternoon with him because obviously it's his last, you know, last afternoon before he goes back to school tomorrow. Um, but come tomorrow, I, I'm going to have the house to myself for the whole week. Oh my goodness. And I can't wait to just catch up and get on top of things again work-wise because I've missed you guys so much I can't tell you I mean it's kind of been like winging a prayer stuff getting through each day and you know I'm so sorry and I apologize you know I've apologized every week for a few weeks now but I just apologize again I'm running so behind on everything my emails are just mounting up and you know it really has been yeah um not great on the on the work front so um you know not complaining or anything I'm just saying I'm feeling so excited today that finally, hopefully, life's going to return to some form of normality now. And um, yeah, I'm going to be able to hopefully get to grips with everything again because I've neglected all sorts of things. I mean, you know, I, yeah, very, very behind on lots of things. Emails, obviously, they are very, very behind. Um, you know, my design team, I mean... <laughs> wonderful ladies and you know hello to any of you if you are watching and I just want to say thank you so much to to you for sticking with me because I know that I'm just the most shocking communicator anyway um but obviously you know because I've been kind of going through you know my divorce and all that type of stuff which actually is you know proving much more stressful than I'd expected um you know it's yeah it's just kind of all all gone really to pot so I just can't apologize enough and yeah I'm hoping over the next I'm not going to kind of say oh within like you know the next day or so it's all going to be cleared up of course not but I'm hoping within the next couple of weeks I'm going to get on top of quite a lot of things that I need to get on top of and hopefully then you know feel some semblance of you know get in some form of order again with things because um yeah things have become very very chaotic and you know who wants to live like that to be honest so I can only apologize to all those lovely ladies who are on my design team and yeah just really really thank you so much for sticking with me and um you know I do have some other things planned I've got this amazing idea from the lovely Joanne from Junk Journal Treasures she has come up with an amazingly brilliant idea, um, you know, going forward for the design team. So I'm definitely going to take, you know, take that on board and use her suggestion, which was a fantastic idea. So, Joanne, if you catch this video, thank you so much. It's an awesome idea and I love it. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, I've got kind of um, things for that. And as I said, I have got something planned with the Facebook group, which, I mean, again, please don't get really excited because, oh, it might just be a complete letdown when it happens. But it's just in the pipeline at the moment and it's kind of just knocking around in my mind, kind of, you know, this is what I'm planning on doing. And it's just a case of um, I want to get a few filmed ahead before I start it because it's going to be another thing that possibly would be more time consuming than my usual kind of videos if you see what I mean so that's in the pipeline and definitely um you know would like to kind of go ahead with that so yeah lots of things planned and you know hopefully hopefully loads of good things coming up but um yeah I just need to kind of get on top of some of the you know the usual stuff that I'm always running behind with and then um yeah then hopefully kind of we can move forward with some fun stuff so but yeah so I just apologize to everybody again and say thank you so so much to everybody for sticking with me I know that I'm shockingly terrible at communication and um you know I just thank you all for your patience because I know that some of you you know if you've emailed me at my shop and things and you've got a query or anything it's very slow going getting a response from me at the moment and I can really only apologize for that I'm so so sorry and you know but please know you know it is on my radar that I've got these things to do and um yeah I just really really appreciate your patience so thank you very very much um for for being patient and bearing with me um what else was I gonna say oh so, yeah, anyway, feeling really great that, you know, hopefully 
tomorrow, my son's back and, you know, it's all going to be business as usual then kind of getting on top of things. I obviously as well, sorry, I do have quite a bit of filming ahead I need to do because I've had several days where obviously I've not managed to film during these holidays. And um, I always like to film ahead and have like, you know, good, you know, I don't know, maybe like two or three weeks worth of videos in the bank, as it were. Just in case, you know, if anything happens, if I don't feel well or, you know, like like the summer holidays. So as I have a few videos to go. And although that sounds like a lot, it's quite surprising how quickly you can go through them. I mean, like when we went to Wales, obviously that was a period of six days where I didn't film a single thing. So those six days worth of videos, obviously, I mean, they just got used up like that in six days. And obviously, you know, they actually on top of doing like a seven day, you know, if you upload a video every single day, and let's just say that you film one video per day, that's going to take you seven days to film a week's worth of videos, if you see what I mean. Well, I don't tend to film at weekends, so straight away I have to try and condense the seven videos into five days. And then if I want to get some in the bank, really I need to film a good eight or nine videos per week during five days. And then obviously you only need one or two things to happen. You might not get a day's filming because, you know, you've got a lot of emails or, you know, for instance, just even kind of stocking things in my shop. Um, you know, occasionally I might have to just think, well, I need to just spend a couple of days just really focusing on creating some digis and things like that. So again, that's another couple of days that I don't film for and things like that. So... Although it sounds like having a lot of videos in the bank, you know, wow, you know, you've got like, I don't know, say, you know, 24 videos ready to go. Actually, they get used pretty quickly, to be honest. If you don't keep on top of it and keep adding to them, you know, very quickly, you can suddenly find that actually you've only got 10 left, which I know 10 still sounds a lot, but... I then kind of panic because I think, oh no, I've only got 10. Because that can so easily be wiped out. You only need for, you know, me to be ill or the kids to be ill or, you know, something else happened. I don't know, I had internet problems last week for a day and things like that. And straight away, those 10 videos can very easily diminish to six videos. And, you know, before you know it, you've got kind of none. And it may take you like about four months to actually build those videos up again. Um, yeah, I mean, it sounds... It sounds extreme and sort of strange, but honestly, anyone who kind of films ahead, I know that Tanya over at Tattered Treasures, um, I heard her talking about it the other day, and I'm sure that she probably understands exactly what I'm saying, is to actually get ahead in terms of filming, you know, to get any significant amount of being ahead actually can take weeks and weeks because you might only manage to film one extra video on top of your daily videos, like say per week. So it's gonna take you an incredibly long time to actually build up a few, if you see what I mean. So yeah, anyway, that was very rambly, wasn't it? And um, yeah, probably <laughs> probably just waffly rubbish and probably made no sense really, but anyway, yeah. So um, yeah, that's, that's that and um, Oh, and my my terror for today is I have been invited into the wonderful collaboration um, that's going on with the, I think it's called Free Motion Stitching. I'm actually not sure whether it's referred to as Free Motion or Fast, fast Motion Stitching. I think it is Free Motion. Um, anyway, Free Motion Stitching which I didn't really know what that was, to be honest. I'm <laughs> not entirely convinced I still know what it is, actually, the fact I don't know 100% whether it is even free motion or fast motion. Um, anyway, so I've been invited, obviously, to do the, or join in the collaboration, which is going on, and there's, I think it's 10 of us um, joining in, and pretty much everybody's uploaded their videos already so I'm feeling slightly embarrassed because I not only haven't filmed my video yet I'm hoping to film it today and hoping then to get it up maybe on Wednesday um however however 
I have never done free motion stitching before. So obviously I have spent the last, you know, last evening, you know, yesterday evening and this morning researching how to free motion stitch. Well, I have to say I'm still not 100% sure <laughs> that I know what I'm doing. So, yeah, that's kind of filling me with dread at the moment. And, um, yeah, that's going to be my video for today after this. But, obviously, I'm going to need to actually kind of try and practice it and fathom out how to really do it before I can even film the video. So, of course, you know, well, of course, I'm not really going to be filming ahead today, if you see what I mean, because I'm only going to film two videos. Because, obviously, by the time that I you know, play around at the sewing machine and fathom out how to do the free motion stitching, um, you know, and then film that particular video. Obviously, I've promised my son that I will only work till about 12.30. And obviously, I've come straight up here, straight back from the school run. Um, but yeah, so straight away today, I'm not going to have time now to get on my emails because... Yeah, I've obviously come back from the school. I started filming this at 9.15, straight after my smoothie. Um, yeah, and then obviously I'm going to quickly grab a cup of tea, try and fathom out how to do the slow or free motion stitching. And then, of course, you know, film that video and then take my son out for the afternoon. So, and then obviously my daughter will be home from school and, you know, so it will all run again. So, yeah, anyway, so... That wasn't meant to go back into complaining about, you know, how little time there was. Sorry. I digressed there because I guess it hadn't really even occurred to me until I, <laughs> until I was saying it. But anyway. Um, anyway, so, yeah, it's a shame that this video is now not going to be up until tomorrow because <laughs> any tips would have been greatly appreciated. But, I mean, obviously, well, hopefully I will have filmed my video by the time this goes up tomorrow. So, it would be too late for any tips, you know, although they would have been appreciated. But yeah, anyway, I feel very nervous. And, um, you know, I've obviously watched the lovely videos that have gone up already. They've done incredible, lovely, amazing things. And yeah, I'm feeling slightly like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? <laughs> so, well, A, what am I going to do with my free motion stitching? But more importantly, how am I going to do it? Because I don't actually know how you do it. So, yeah, we will have to um, see. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. If it doesn't go up on Wednesday, it's because it's taking me longer than expected to actually learn, learn how to do it. So for this one, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut across here and I'm going to cut straight across into that paper. And what you can then do is obviously have like a top loading pocket and that pocket and then still glue it down on the three sides and what you could also do is of course have oops you know you could have a thumb hole in the top so let me just there we go like that so I mean they're quite versatile aren't they and you really can kind of then do quite a few different things with them and I mean for instance on this one I did bring along some of my inked papers, so I'm just going to see if any of these would complement this. I don't think really they are going to. No, I look. No, they are not going to. So, yeah, none of those. Okay, so I'll just use the um, sheet music again because, of course, you know, we've started with that. I might as well carry on with that for the moment. So I will just then take my sheet music cut that down like that okay like that I'm just just going to cut this in slightly there okie dokie like that and then whoops just in here at this side. Gosh, I'm making this look way worse than it needs to be, honestly. <laughs> Don't know what's going on. 
Okay, right, save. And then, yeah, fold this up here. Like that. Okay. Oh, gosh. Highlight of the weekend was... Um, it was just such lovely weather. Uh, actually, Saturday wasn't lovely. So, yeah, I mustn't, mustn't just make sweeping statements. Saturday was okay. Um, but Sunday... Oh my goodness, how lovely was Sunday? What a bonus that was. So yeah, was able to take um, my son down the beach, my eldest son, because um, he was kind of free for the afternoon. My daughter actually saw her dad and um, my middle son, he wasn't free. So I took my eldest son down the beach and spent some just nice quality time with him yesterday. And um yeah, I mean, we wanted to go down there because, of course, you know, and I've talked about this, we've not really had a very good summer this year, it's got to be said. You know, it's been pretty rubbish. And, um, you know, I know that I said the other day, I mean, we barely really managed to get any beach days this year um, in the summer holidays. I know we had a few before the summer holidays, but during the summer holidays, hardly any. And, you know, how gutting, because we absolutely love going to the beach. So, yeah, as soon as we saw that the weather was nice yesterday, we were like, oh, my goodness, you know, let's quickly have a couple of bonus beach days. And, um, yeah, so, or not a couple, but a bonus beach day anyway. So we did. And, um, oh, my gosh, it was just gorgeous. I mean, actually beautiful. Really, really sad because, obviously, you know, the schools then were back today. And the weather was still beautiful, even at like 7.30. You know, it was just such a shame. Because, you know, the summer holidays, I don't think we had a single evening that was gorgeous like that. Not a single one. Um, which, I mean, oh, what a shame, to be honest. Because the weather really does make such a massive difference, doesn't it? Um, you know, really, really does. So, I think this is my high tea. Um, kit. I know that, again, I had a, another person ask last week that I, you know, mention what kits I'm using. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was high tea. The one that I'm about to glue down now, this green, this is obviously in the Fox and Friends, which I launched on Sunday. So it's my autumn kit. Um, yeah, so, yeah, anyway, um, it was just a shame because I just thought, you know, fancy the weather turning out like this now that the schools are all going back I mean some of the schools I think went back on the last couple of days last week I think our local schools they were all going back well I was going to say this week actually but I think actually a couple of our local ones went back even last week but anyway you know not not the ones that my kids go to but yeah anyway just such a shame because you know the weather really does make a difference doesn't it and you know it would have been lovely to have had a couple of evenings, you know, down the beach and things like that. I mean, we did go down the beach a couple of evenings, but we kind of wrapped up for it, you know. Um, it was, yeah, we were kind of wrapped up and still it was quite chilly. So it was just a shame, really. But yeah, anyway. It is what it is. And apparently this week is going to be like 30 degrees. Um you know, get to 30 degrees. So we'll see. We'll see whether it does or not. Oh, again, I can't really mix that. It's a bit weird. Um, yeah, we'll see. Just wondering whether I want to just go all out and have matching. Matching, um, you know, paper here. Or whether I might like to use some, like, authentic vintage ephemera because I've done that a little bit in the journal which I've got some videos coming up later in the week using them um do you know I think actually think I quite like it with the with the matching let's do that yeah and I was only saying last week you know that the summer I mean it really felt very autumnal and it felt like we weren't going to get those few nice days you know that you sometimes do get later on well, how wrong I was, <laughs> because here they are, right, you know, right now. So, I mean, obviously, when I took my daughter to school just now, um, you know, it was already pretty warm. I mean, I literally just wore my summer dress and just my denim jacket, you know. 
and actually by the time I was coming back I took my denim jacket off because um you know it was already quite warm so yeah you know I really misjudged it when I said I think summer's finished it appears it's not finished at all although I think this is the last of it you know this week with the hot weather it's going to be the last of it and that's fair enough isn't it I mean it is September now so can't really expect it to go on much beyond September can you but yeah anyway okay right also we went in the um hot tub so anyone who watches my channel you'll know that you know during the uh, I think it was while the kids had Covid actually um I wanted to kind of treat them because obviously it's been a rubbish year for them and you know so anyway we bought a hot tub you know one of those kind of inflatable ones I mean I say inflatable they're very strong and very robust they're not kind of like a flimsy paddling pool or anything they're not like you know flimsy rubber they're they're pretty sturdy I mean actually you can kind of almost sit on the edge of it it's so sturdy um yeah anyway we went in there my daughter and my middle son and I, we went in there, I think it was on Friday night. And it was the first time we'd actually been in there in an evening where it was, you know, really pretty chilly outside. Um, because most of the time, you know, once it gets a bit chilly, I kind of think, mm, who wants to go out there, you know? Anyway, we were just having quite a nice evening and things. And I just thought, oh, you know, stuff it. Let's just, let's just go and try it out and see what we think. Oh, it was really fun because, I mean, obviously, once you're in there, I mean, you're pretty much in there up to your shoulders. So, you know, you didn't really notice how cold it was outside other than obviously when you got in and out, which, you know, of course, you're not loitering in and out then, are you? You're just getting in and out. Um, Yeah, so we we had a really nice time in there. I mean, to the point where I actually said to the boys, you know, what do you think? Shall we put it up, you know, during the winter? for Christmas like we could go in there like on Christmas day you know I mean I don't know and to be honest it did come with a warning saying don't leave it up all year round so it's obviously not really kind of suitable for all year round use and to be honest you know let's face it it was a bit chilly the other night I mean obviously but not not December temperatures so the likelihood of us actually going in there you know in December I mean we're not really likely to do that are we so yeah who was I kidding anyway but I just kind of had this mad thing where I thought oh you know perhaps we could do that right so this paper here this is from some new um pieces that I've got in my shop at the moment that I put in again last week uh where they come with some note cards I'm just going to quickly show you these are just some of the note cards that you get and then you get these papers which just to give you an idea that's one of them you just get three background blah, blah, background pages and then just a couple of pages of lab labely you know journal cards and then just some shrunk down versions of the journal cards as well um so that's all that background pages but i just thought actually that does go really beautifully with that inked paper so i can finally use one of those so we'll just cut that one down and we will have it there okay I'll just take that down like that and then okay and two there yeah because obviously this just picks up that beautiful kind of bluey green of that flower doesn't it so you know, it's quite nice to kind of have a contrasty piece, isn't it? Oh, which was the side I cut? I'm not sure, but let's just take it down this side because it's quite curly on that side. Okay. Right, and I'll just take it down here. Okay, that looks pretty, doesn't it? Dokey. Okay, pop that there. So this one, just going to do kind of one other thing, I think, just to mix it up and just, you know, 
I guess, um, give a couple more ideas of some other things that you could do. So, actually, I'm not going to do it with this one. I'm going to do it with the the autumn one that we just did. So let me move this out of the way. I will glue these ones later um, because I've probably run out of time now to do them. I should, you know, get decorating one now. So sorry, I just knocked the camera. So I'm going to bring in the autumn one just because I happen to be doing my autumn journal right now. So this would be good to, you know, to make this one or finish this one. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it across the top, you know, like we did the other one, so that you've formed then a top, a top loading pocket there. And then what you could do in this one is actually have a little sort of piece tucked in. So just having a look to see if I've got some, some inked paper or coffee dyed paper, anything which really will do. Um, well, if I use this one. So let's just take that there. Just cut it down here on this edge. Like that. Okay. Oops. Oh, come on. Like that. Okay. Not done a very good job of cutting this. And then let's just grab my corner rounder. So we just, you know, just tidying this up a little bit. Okay, and then what we could do, oops, is glue this. Oh, come on. In the flap. So then you've got a top loading pocket. Let's glue this so as it stops moving around. Okay. Like that. And just glue that down like that. Okay. So you've got your top loading pocket. Oops, which again? This is now not very central. Let me try and slide it across. Okay, right. Top loading pocket here. You've got your pocket here and you've got this light little piece here that kind of folds in and can just tuck down into the pocket. And then you can still glue this on three sides and have a side loading pocket as well. So, you know, it's just another option, another kind of thing that you could do, something else a little bit different. Um, let's decorate this one up now. So I'm just having a look to see what I've got here. Obviously, I've been, you know, using all these bits and pieces so far already. Oops, have I got my glasses on? Yes, I have. Yep. Okay. So I'm just going to cut down this um, fox in the... I remember what you call these things. I know I've talked about this again before in another video recently saying, what are these called? What are they? A hurricane glass. Oh, that's been irritating me for days. I just couldn't think, what are these things called? I think they're called a hurricane glass. I probably now have loads of you say that's not what they're called. And actually, I've just totally forgotten it, you know, or remembered it wrongly. But I think that's what they're called is a hurricane glass. So yeah, I'll just cut this out. So, and these are the, just the pieces from the Fox and Friends um, ephemera, ephemera kit. So there we go. Okay, let just see what other bits I've got. Mm. These are all quite small. I'm not sure whether they're a bit too small. Let's just try this. Yeah, I mean, also, what I probably should do is actually get on and do some housework, to be honest. But, hey, that's just not going to happen, to be honest. So, yeah, the house will just stay filthy for a few more days. Okay. 
because you know when everyone first goes back to school it's really nice isn't it to kind of get on top of like the mess that's everywhere because oh you know having like a house full of people I mean it it does get pretty messy doesn't it and you know they never clear up after themselves I mean I I tell a lie I mean my eldest son is really good he's very very good at cleaning up after himself um my middle son is amazing at clearing up but he kind of has to be in the zone if you see what I mean every now and then you know he'll just kind of get in the mood where he will just literally blitz the kitchen so like I've gone to bed at night and then I come down and I feel like you know I'm Cinderella with the um fairy godmother because somebody has done this amazing job in the kitchen you know and it looks spick and span and spotless and you know he does an incredible job if he's not in that mood he can be quite messy too so he'll come in from school he'll make himself something to eat and then you know it will just look a bit like a bomb site um but you know when he is in the mood he's like amazing amazing but yeah i mean my daughter she is just appalling appalling literally every room she goes in she just has a trail of stuff that follows her then she leaves that in that room she'll get another trail of stuff that will follow her into another room a trail of stuff and you know i mean i'm meaning everywhere so like she'll go to the toilet and on the way to the toilet she'll you know leave some things on like the sort of side table thing in the hall you know then she'll come back out the toilet won't even notice that she'll go and get something else she'll go in like the you know the um the back room and she'll just leave a load of stuff in there she'll you know start eating she'll leave all her wrappers and things um you know in the back room where she's been eating and then you know she just goes on and on and on like that then she'll go in the kitchen again she'll take in another few things in there you know just leave a big mess trailing behind her in there just terrible terrible and completely oblivious you know doesn't even acknowledge she's doing it or anything else <laughs> so yeah i mean to be honest the house probably could do with a bit of a tidy up it's got to be said a tidy up a hoover up uh you know <laughs> a clean up yeah but yeah that's not going to happen that might well just have to wait till about next week so we'll just have a dirty house for a while longer but never mind as long as anyone's not going to really be coming in the house too much it's not really too much of a problem is it okay so i'm just going to cut this butterfly out because i think that one's a little bit too big so let's just take this one oh, i've just taken my glasses off my head again and to be honest it's so shocking the difference that it makes to how well i can actually see okay Or I'm thinking perhaps I could have this little framey type piece with the bunny. Let's just see. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Because they're like two major pieces, if you know what I mean. Um, so I think it is better, you know, even though I think that's quite tiny on there, it doesn't warrant having a significant piece, if that makes sense. So yeah, I think I'm going to just put this one down there. Okay. Just tap that off because it was a little bit too much glue. I'm so sorry. I, uh, just did that. Right, okay, then we can have our butterfly there. So I'll just hot glue that on just for speed. Like that. Okay, and then we're going to have our little fox chap on the flappy type piece. Like that. Okay, dab him down or press press him down like that. And then we've got this one. Okay. Like 
that. Oops. Okie dokie. Right. And then, yeah, just going to have this tiny butterfly here just because it kind of finishes that off nicely. So again, just a little tiny dab of glue. Pop that there. Now I'm thinking, do we want some sort of... Um, something to break it up so I'm thinking something pink I've used quite a bit of that satin ribbon which actually I was using up because my daughter had kind of you know wasted a bunch of it got this ribbon here that was just dangling around on my desk actually um no that's just massive uh right let me just see whether there's any although I want it here to be honest so I was going to have a look and see whether I've got any of the satin ribbon but I'm going to struggle to bunch it up across there so maybe it would be better with this mm -hmm. don't feel like that's kind of um, you know like kind of making a statement enough no I can't see any more of that pink satin ribbon there probably is some more but it's probably over at my daughter's desk now um, hmm. Okay, we might have to just go for this then, to be honest. So let's just fabric tack this down. Okay. Oh, give it a good shake. No, come on. Oh, come on, come on. Does not want to even run down the bottle, which is pretty, pretty annoying, isn't it? Come on. Oh, do you know, it's coming out of here. So I'm just going to just do that instead. Okay. Let's just pop that place down there. Yep. Move that out the way. Right. Clean up my fingers now, which are now covered in fabric tack. Oh, sometimes it can be very messy. It's good stuff, but yeah, just every now and then it's a bit bit on the messy side. Okay. Whoops. Sorry, just had a bit of thread there hanging out. So that's that pocket. And how cute does that look? I mean, I'm feeling it needs a... Um, like a bright pink flower or something like that on there, but I don't know whether, I'll just have a look and see whether I've got anything that would be, you know, about the right thing. Um, I've got this. That's not really right, is it? Oh gosh, come on. Well, I guess it could go down there, actually. That's kind of cute, isn't it? And then I could just top it with that flower on the inside. And then, actually, what I have been using in my autumn journal is I have been using some of these little brads, which I've had for years and years, and I never use them because I just struggle to use coloured brads and things. So this has been a really good you know, project for me to be able to use some of my old things that I've had for a long time. I could either have that one or orange. Let me just pop these all back in. So the orange one is... Oh, come on. Come on, come on. That's the orange one. Oh, come on. Not sure about the orange one, or we could use the green one. Oh, I'm really fingers and thumbs again today. I'm so sorry about that. It's very annoying when that happens, to be honest. Oh, come on. I mean, I'm never, you know, not finger and thumbs at all, but sometimes just worse than others. And today is just one of those days. 
yeah, perhaps kind of have it on the side there. What do we think? Oh, I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that that flower is quite right on there. It looks a little bit like a star, which is a bit weird. Let's just take that out and see. Because I have got some little pastel coloured round ones, to be honest, which maybe one of those might be better. I mean, I picked the flowers because I've, you know, I happen to have used them in a few other places in this journal. But actually, maybe for this, <clears throat> you know, this flower, maybe just the centre would be better. Actually, I've got a red. And I also have got a red spotty, although that it's quite dark. I thought it was quite bright, but when you then put it against, you know, this red, which is much brighter, it looked quite dark. Oh, I love that green with the spots. Right, let's try this. Let's try one of these and see if any of these look good. Oh gosh, this is monstrous in here, isn't it? Yeah, I've just covered up that tiny flower completely. Right, okay, so definitely not that, we're we thinking. Although, it looks cute there. Let's try this red one. Mm, let's try this green. Oh, come on, what's going on? Yeah, maybe that little green circle. Looks quite cute, doesn't it? Okay, right. Let's just do that or else I'm going to be here literally the whole day just debating and, you know, swapping things and changing my mind. But I will put this green and white polka dot one here because I love how that looks. Just such a beautiful, vibrant colour, isn't it? I mean, this is probably my favourite, favourite, favourite shade of green. So again, if you watch my channel, you'll know green is my favourite colour. And this shade of green, like a pea green, wow, that's my favourite of all. I just love that shade of green. Okay, right. Don't think I want to even have those leaves on there, so I'm just going to get rid of those. Oh my goodness, come on. Okay, oh, come on. <clears throat> Oh gosh, what's going on with this? Sorry, I don't know what's going on here. Right. Okay, right, let's pop this down. So again, just going to use my hot glue and pop that down there. Okay, so that's my little finished pocket that's there for my um, autumn journal. So the ones that we've made and actually finished are these ones. Obviously, they do need decorating, but we have at least, you know, assembled the whole thing. So we've got four, five, including the one that obviously I've decorated. And then we've got another one, two, three, four that, you know, I've kind of laid out ready, ready for using. So, yeah, I hope that you like them all and um, have fun if you decide to make some. Wish me luck for my free motion sewing. I'm just going to get a cup of tea and try and teach myself how to do that. So, um, yeah, have a fab day, everyone, and hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Thanks, then. Bye.